Sending daily tips to increase SharePoint and Office 365 usage. Broadcasting daily short tutorials to end users is among the effective ways to improve SharePoint and Office 365 adoption. However, you need to do it in a way that gets end users to actually consume the content. In this short video, Richard Harbridge, CTO at 2 to Lead, lays out a strategy you can implement for optimal results. To watch the full one hour video course on how to improve SharePoint and Office 365 adoption, Click the link below to go to visualsp.com. So let me give you some examples. If we dig into tips, um, what you do is you maybe create a series of tips. Um, let's say we do a 25-day campaign. We do a tip per day. And each of the tips basically has, we'll pre-build the tips. We'll give them the text. You can see on the right-hand side an example of one. So we'll give them the text, maybe even the imagery, and say, this is what you need to do. And it'll be copy-paste exercise for some leader in the organization. So what we want is immediately, if we have 25 tips, we could have 25 distinct people in the organization helping drive this campaign. They don't need to build the campaign. They don't even need to build the tips. They literally can just consume what we're giving them and then on the appropriate day publish. So all you're managing is a schedule and uh, all you're managing is how do we want the weeks to be themed? Because of course, each of these people that are sharing tips, you have to think about, again, take it further. How are they actually gonna do this? So maybe we have a center of excellence site, a knowledge hub, think, think of something like that. And they're gonna communicate these tips on that knowledge hub daily and then once a week we'll do one post on the internet or at a organizational level that says here's you know discovering information at uh, XYZ at to lead here's what we've learned and here's the five tips and by the way here's the challenges um, that you should do and if you do these challenges what's more is um, when you do them and you post about them in Yammer using this topic or hashtag you have a chance to win etc and here's the winners from last week so what you're doing is you're sending one either email message or a uh, internet post or whatever it is once per week and then you're doing all these other ones throughout the week and what this does is it creates a funnel effect right because in week two or three a person who finally hears about it or says I'm gonna take a, a glance at this goes wow they've been doing this for a while there's all sorts of stuff for me to read and understand and they start to get pulled into that funnel process and they start to see things like oh there's training coming up uh, on week three uh, that I can take part in great I'm gonna sign up for that training and again we can increase the registration for training uh, and we can make sure that we follow up with those who were trained and target better uh, guidance and follow-ups and coaching and things like that. So tips, uh, well, may, while they may seem really simple, they're really important not just to know, hey, we're going to do a bunch of tips, but to really do the pre-work of saying, what are those tips going to be, and define them for the entirety of the campaign. And this is doable if your campaign's only 25 days. That's 25 tips. Or it could be, you know, uh, 10 tips across 25 days. I'm not saying you have to have a tip per day, right? So you define that. But definitely think of it at that kind of tactical level and think of who's going to communicate this tip, right? Don't have it all come from one or two leaders. Have it come from different people every day and there's no downside to that right now we get more people involved we get more visibility in a variety of places let me give you another example um, those challenges that I mentioned these are really important because remember there's a group of people that just want to know what should I do different I mentioned earlier this idea of, hey, you can add OneNote to a recurring meeting. That is a specific thing that they could do. You're saying there's a tip, which is, you know, OneNote's awesome, here's how it works, et cetera. But the reality is that the big thing here that you're trying to push is just do this one thing. And if you do this, you'll automatically start to use OneDrive, uh, maybe for where the storage for the meeting notes are, or at least a SharePoint team site where appropriate. And you'll now be uh, effectively taking better notes during meetings and more people will be able to take part and so on and so forth. So we're improving the way meetings meetings are managed or, or meetings in general in that one way and then there's tons of other ways you can see a bunch of examples here so again the slides will be available to you so there's lots of ways that we can challenge people theme it uh, I will tell you we've uh, found that if you're doing lots of tips you definitely want to theme them and coordinate them you don't want to just have random tips because it'll feel disjointed um, but if you do that effectively it'll actually translate really well into the training which we'll get into if you would like to automate training and support for your team install visual SP the plug-and-play, instant, and context-sensitive self-help system for SharePoint and Office 365 end-users. Over 2 million users in over 200 companies are using Visual SP to boost end-user adoption and reduce the burden on their IT support teams. Using Visual SP's step-by-step -step intuitive guidance tools, let your colleagues get access to help wherever and whenever they need it, facilitate employee onboarding with always accessible tip sheets, annotated screenshots, step-by-step -step walkthroughs, and screen capture videos. Accelerate user adoption of your business workflows and improve productivity. To request a free demo and see how Visual SP works,
click the link below to go to visualsp.com.